The NVIDIA Jetson Oil Nano Developer Kit Carrier Board includes a 40-pin expansion header supporting UART, SPI, I2S, I2C, and GPIO. Much like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, the GPIO pins can be used to blink an LED. For the hardware for this tutorial, we'll need the NVIDIA Jetson Oil Nano Developer Kit, an LED, and a couple of female-to-female -female jumper wires. Connect the positive leg of your LED to the 7 pin on the NVIDIA Jetson Oil Nano. Connect the negative leg to GND ground pin on the NVIDIA Jetson Oil Nano, such as the 6 pin. Turn on your NVIDIA Jetson Oil Nano, open a new terminal window, and first check that the Jetson.gpio is installed. sudo pip install Jetson GPIO. It should say requirement already satisfied Jetson GPIO in create a new Python file named blinking led.py. Touch blinking led.py. Now let's edit the blinking led.py file. Gedit blinking led.py. For the start, we're going to import the necessary libraries we need. Import Jetson.gpio as GPIO. Import time. Then we declare which pin the LED is connected to. LED pin equals 7. We then set up the GPIO to use the physical pin number and for the pin to output gpio set mode gpio board gpio dot setup led pin gpio out initial equals gpio dot low then start a try accept block inside the try block we will use a while statement inside the while statement the code will execute repeatedly so here we will repeatedly set our leds to turn on wait for 500 milliseconds set our led to turn off and wait for another 500 milliseconds try while true gpio dot output led pin gpio dot high time dot sleep 0.5 gpio dot output led pin GPIO low time dot sleep 0.5. Lastly, finish the try accept block with the accept block specifying keyboard interrupt. This block will make our program safely close when we want to close the program. Accept keyboard interrupt print exiting gracefully GPIO .cleanup. Click the save button, save the code, and then close gedit the text editor program. We can now launch the blinking led.py program. Python 3 blinking led.py. When you're finished, you can press the Ctrl C to safely stop the program.